In both mitosis and meiosis, a precise separation of chromosomes must occur. This is dependent on the spindle. An error in chromatin segregation is made only about once in every 10 to the power of 5 divisions. The spindle originates from centrioles, which are positioned at opposite poles of the cell during cell division. Microtubules, similar to those that build the cytoskeleton, radiate from each centriole, forming polar and kinetical fibers. Polar fibers extend from the two poles of the spindle towards the equator, while kinetochore fibers are attached to the centromeres of chromosomes and extend towards the spindle poles. Fibers of the spindle pull single chromatids of each chromosome towards the opposite spindle poles during mitosis. After mitosis, the daughter cells are still diploid 2N. When the first meiotic division occurs, the fibers of the spindle pull whole chromosomes toward the spindle poles. In this way, one chromosome from each pair is pulled towards one pole, while the other is pulled towards the opposite pole. As a result, the daughter cells become haploid 1N, with the preserved structure of their chromosomes still consisting of two chromatids. The separation of the chromatid occurs during the second meiotic division, just as it does in mitosis. So, the final daughter cells are haploid 1N, 